Hello and welcome to the Fight Back Falls channel. Um, uh, it's Physio G here and um, I'd just like to go through um, five, very quickly, five um, features you should look for when looking at an effective falls prevention program. Um, if you're over the age of 65 and you've been having falls, maybe not a lot, but you're concerned about the fact that you're having falls and um, you might see may, may have seen um, things in the media about um, the older adult and falls um, that's not to say that falls doesn't occur in other age groups it's just that um, the risks involved um, could include things like a hip fracture um, or um, being uprooted from your home, um, spending a long time in hospital and that sort of thing. So today I'd just like to go through five features of um, an effective falls prevention program. So here we go. Um, number one, you want to ensure that the falls prevention program that you're a part of um, includes a thorough investigation of why you're falling and this questions that you're looking for will include things like how many falls have you had um, your falls triggers so is it are they internal triggers or are they there they external triggers internal triggers include things like um, uh, you've suddenly you've noticed that you're weak um, you're not as strong as you used to be you're not as agile as you used to be um, or it could mean that there's something wrong with your vision or your hearing um, there are a number of factors which a falls specialist or um, a, a health professional should be able to pick up or refer you to a fall specialist so um, you're looking at your falls triggers internal external is self self-explanatory it would be things like um, your environment um, you know is it property properly lit um, are there puddles on the floor or um, trip hazards um, that sort of thing um, so uh, that investigation is going to include um, things that might be triggering these faults. Um, the other thing that uh, you should, that fault specialist or investigator need to look at is, are you um, able to get up on your own? And if you're not able to get up on your own when you've had these faults, um, did you have to seek the emergency services or did you um, call a neighbour, a friend, a relative, you know, how did you get up? Did you hurt yourself um, or you didn't hurt yourself, the extent of that? Um, and what sort of plan have you got moving forward? By that I mean it could be that you've now decided that you'll strap your mobile around your neck so that if you do have a fall you can ring a family member. Um, I won't go in detail with um, things, there, there are various technologies out there on the market that you could um, implement at home to help to manage um, when you do have a fall. Um, that I'll discuss in another video but today I'm just saying that you need to have a plan in place um, with when you're thinking about um, managing your falls risk or your propensity to fall. Okay so that's feature number one a thorough investigation. Feature number two will be a physical examination. Um, there are things that you can do on your own 
and some programs will help you to um, go through that. There are other things that you might need a full specialist um, or somebody who knows what they're doing to go through these tests and they'll be looking at things like your strength, your balance, how do you um, get about, how do you, let's say, get in and out of bed, how do you get in and out of a car or simple things as just getting off your sofa and, you know, if you have to go to the bathroom, how do you um, manage that as well? Okay, so the physical exam examination will be looking at basically how do you function at home? Are you safe to function? Um, and uh, if not, how do we go about um, keeping you safe and keeping you independent at home? Uh, the next feature will be that professional or full specialist will be looking at um, how treating what they see. Um, so if you remember the first feature looked at things like your triggers, it's looking at how do we manage those triggers to minimise your risk of having another fall. Okay. So, and if the physical exam uh, showed things like, okay, your balance is bad or, or your um, muscles are weak, then they will design a program to um, get you to do that. Number four is a follow-up program. There's no point in you doing a program for... Um, Doing a program for let's say six weeks and then after the six weeks you stop um, this isn't good in fact this could set you up to have more falls um, not to frighten you not to scare you it's just that um, you a good program you're looking at at least about four months and that's going to depend on the frequency how committed you are um, each week to your false prevention program. So yes, I'm sorry to say it takes time, it takes effort, it takes commitment, it takes consistency um, to get to that stage where you're benefiting and um, that benefit or both those benefits are sustained. And then um, the fifth and final feature of a good falls prevention program will be um, an, a re-evaluation. So um, that fall specialist or health professional will um, revisit you maybe six months or a year to a year down the line to say, well, um, did you sustain um, the benefits that you um, achieved whilst you were being supervised and um, also um, have you continued with the program has your life changed significantly since you started that program um, and very important would be has the number of falls decreased as a result of of you embarking on, on that program and also, it could be that when you've um, finished your false prevention program, the supervised bit, because like I said, you'll need to keep going after you've done um, that supervised bit, is looking at, are you getting out and about? Um, there's a problem um, or a complication, if you like, of falls within the over 65 age group, and that's called fear of falling. Again, I won't discuss that in this video because I don't want the video to be too long and you get fed up watching me rant, uh, rabbiting along. But it's just to say that um, fear of falling is a real thing. Um, you have the complications of um, 
uh, you have the complications of anxiety, depression even, and just that real phobia of going outdoors and doing things that you used to do and then that just creates a vicious cycle but i'll talk about that in another video um so i hope this video has been helpful in the features that you need to be looking at for an effective falls prevention program and stay tuned to this channel um, for more information on falls prevention um please do not forget to like share, comment and subscribe to this channel. Um, see you soon and um, please mull over the information you've received in this video and um, if you've got any questions feel free to um, contact me and um, we can discuss that. Okay? Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.